4th of March, eh, the star reported, <coughs> as announced by Datuk Abdul Mutalib alias of uh, Prima, the CEO of Prima, Prima, he has announced that there is 119933 Prima units approved for construction. Eh, I think uh, I'll give you a copy. And if you look at this uh, 119933 units of houses under Prima, which involves 80 projects, that means in 80 projects there is about 120,000, uh, the exact figure is 119933 in 80 projects nationwide. And uh, what he has referred to, uh, the new projects are in KL, Perak, Kedah, Johor and Malacca. The new projects. <coughs> and as far as Penang is concerned, there are no, not even one unit has been approved for construction. And I want to express my utter disappointment today. Prima began in December 2012 when the Act was approved and passed, Prima Act 2012. We are now in 2015. 119933 units have been approved to be constructed in three years throughout the country, Malaysia. But three years later in Penang, we are only now getting correspondence from Prima. This shows that we have been sidelined. Clearly, they are not giving priority to Penang. And I hope this is not politically motivated because we are a Pakatan Rakyat State. Because I've said it many times before, public housing is a responsibility of the federal government. Why? Because the Rakyat pays income tax to the federal government. So when we pay income tax, it is for fundamental needs. I've always said infrastructure, roads, hospitals, schools, and of course when you talk about housing, public housing. And we can see Prima has now announced 119933 units nationwide, but not even one unit for Penang. Why, why the delay where Penang is concerned? We are the second smallest state in the country but we pay the third highest taxes. So that's why today I want to express my disappointment because there is no point in announcing this. And this announcement actually is an admission that nothing is coming to Penang. It's an admission that nothing is coming to Penang. So I think the, the point is this. They have just started corresponding with us. I think the first letter was in December last year. We've had many press conferences on this from Datuk Sri Shahidan Kasim. Why is it the correspondence now only has begun when in fact they have announced units have already been approved to be constructed nationwide? That means all this long, long time ago, steps were taken. All this should have been done a very long time ago. So, saya kata lah, kita di Pulau Pinang ni sepatutnya tidak dianak tirikan di mana pembekalan uh, rumahan mampu milik uh, is concerned. Okay, so, I think a very short statement. 119933. Satu pun Ini begitu menghampakan. Oleh itulah kerajaan negeri Pulau Pinang kita akan terus we will continue with our state government effort to build affordable housing whereby we have about 22,545 units being planned by the state in all the five districts and that is also why we wish to thank once again the private sector for assisting the state government through our public-private partnership to build 100% affordable housing, whereby the private sector today have about 10,000 units already in three months after we announced the guidelines, September, actually now four months, 
they can come, they can commit, submit plans for 10,000 units. In three years, only one letter now start, they start to write. From the federal government. See how this is for Shahidan. Uh, asking Shahidan to uh, respond exactly what is happening, where, you know, because we are getting conflicting reports about Penang. So after that, the letter, I think the last press conference is the letter from Shahidan's office to Mutalib, asking that Mutalib to write to me. I, I said plain Tai Chi, like everybody is passing the buck. <laughs> so, so while, they... While, while they don't answer me, they can very happily announce the lain tempat di negara, the 120,000 unit yang di dilumuskan untuk dibina. Why play this uh, cat and mouse game with Penang? Why? That's why this, in Penang, we are going to lead where the state is concerned and together with the public-private partnership to ensure we deliver to the public. 